with the New Yorker are taking ordinary everyday objects like mailboxes, street poles, and even dumpsters and turning them into vivid miniature works of art. He's transforming what was a pandemic hobby into something much more. As a kid, I already knew I loved the background stuff, the brick wall, the fire escapes. So what I would do is I would collect cereal boxes and just tape them all together, paint miniature bricks on the windows. It wasn't something that I wanted to do as an adult or as a career. I was just playing, I was just being a kid. My childhood is inspiration. I make cool miniatures of special era in my life, which is the 80s and 90s, a sort of a nostalgic feeling. We don't take advantage of all the beauty that's around us. So I made this icebox famous. The piece that's very dear to me is the first piece I've made, which started this whole craze, obsession of miniatures. This is the Mona Lisa of this, this room right here. <laughs> This is a bad boy. People from all over the world, when they visit, they come take photographs of this next to this ice box. I never thought I was gonna be an artist. I went through a tough time. When I was 38, I got in trouble with the law, got a four year probation. I was in the middle of a divorce. I'm going through all these things. Now we're stuck in a pandemic. So it's, now it's getting darker. Art was my escape. My mom, when she saw me spending a lot of hours and she was seeing these art pieces getting made in her, her apartment, she said, you should put it on Facebook. So I just, Posted it up, street pole that I made, it changed my life. In a matter of hours, people asking me, how much, how much, how much? I use everything that's around me. I try to match it as, as much as possible from the discarded cigarette, the gum stains on the sidewalk, the stickers. So sometimes I, I'm working on a piece, I'm like, it's too clean. And that's when I really have fun, when it's time for the weathering process. What keeps me inspired today is the memories that I'm giving people. If I could give you two, three seconds of nostalgia, I did my job. I try to transport you into a certain period in your life, you know, good nostalgia stuff. <laughs> ah, and look at him now. Yes, I love that so story. Cool. Yes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.